text messages god's girlfriend's iphone airdrops you why is this horror ruins horror life story about life death and memes ah uh, okay i want to play we'll play for the last one though for the last game though i've been saying that for like fast 10 games we played settings tech speed oh we'll do a good 50 percent quality high There are mentions of suicide and self-harm in this game. Trigger warning, guys. Trigger warning. Perfect for staying inside and finishing my work. Books. Let's look at the laptop. Oh, this music. Let's go. Ah, I need to work. I'm so bored. I can't focus. Work stuff. Got the girlfriend's phone wants to send you a note. What's this? Should I accept it? Work. I'll make a valiant attempt at working. After some minutes, I get tired and want to take a break. AX plus BY plus CZ. What is what even is a four-dimensional shape? 3.6 contour lines or divisions in the graph. Unit vector means magnitude is one. I forgot all that. Hmm. Okay, okay. I was about to say, that's a meme, right? Nice meme, nice meme. <clears throat> send note back. We'll send a meme back. I wonder if she'll respond. Did we just airdrop things in right here? Thank you for the dog. Send you a note. Accept. You welcome heart. So, pastel princesses, MacBook. What are you up to? Working but can't focus. I'm working but can't focus. <laughs> Any another note? Oh no. I feel that. I hope I'm not distracting you. I also can't focus. I'm procrastinating with makeup right now. Let's see the makeup. Thank you, you're sweet. Let's see the makeup. I'm sure you worked hard on it. Ooh, okay, let's see what she got. Tell me I'm beautiful. Mother. You're the cutest. Highly skilled. Wait, I can't pick both? Hi, you're the most beautiful. Oh, that's me. We're both beautiful. Oh my god, no, you, you're so cute. Go out with me. You didn't say please. I feel like this is, is this how, like, girls talk? Am I supposed to say, like, no, you go out with me? Yes, want to meet later tonight outside my room? Two, ooh, hold up, what's going on? Me, <laughs> you, yes, I'll see you. I guess we got a date, we got a date, let's go. It's not that easy nowadays. Air troubles just sharing the documents, application, I can't look at that, okay, bet. Spotify. Trying to copyright here. Copyright me, copyright me. Let's get some work done. Oh, wait, I can't play that. I'm on Twitch, right? I don't care. I'm not even affiliated. Let's see. What should I do now? Oh, I can back up. My bad. I didn't know that. I didn't see the big ass circle there. Later that night, I went out to meet the goth girlfriend. Before I left, my roommate opened the door. You're leaving? When will you get back? Probably after nine. Her name is May. Oh. Why? Why? Hmm. No reason. Okay. Bye then. Wait. Um, before the day ends, the 
Happy birthday. You remembered? No one else remembered. I didn't even remember. I didn't remember my birthday this year either. I'm not gonna lie. A really good friend of mine reminded me about it. I woke up and I was like, it's just a regular day. And I just went to work. Of course I remember. She sang for me sweetly. Thank you. Oh, thank you for being my friend. What? Why are you telling me this? I just thought life is so short. I want to express my appreciation for the people I care about. In that case, you're also an amazing friend. Thanks for being my friend too. Aw. <laughs> I'll see you later. Goodbye. Hell yeah. Got some good friends. I met up with God's girlfriend. She told me her name was Amy. She told me her name. Amy. We walked to the roof, laid out a blanket, and watched the stars. Um What can we do all three? Whoopic arts. No, they, they seem like they're enjoying themselves. The Whoopic sky. This guy's gorgeous. I know, right? I'm forever that girl that gets really excited when the gr when the sky and the ah. I'm forever that girl that gets really excited when the sky is in pretty colors. What do you think of when you look at the sky? Nothing. For once, only a feeling. Damn. Nothing. You know when your mind is constantly noisy. I look at the sky and I realize it's so much bigger than me. My problems mean nothing compared to it. My mind quiets. That's so poetic. Oh, we can do arts. Airdrops. What are airdrops? So, oh, I'm so stupid. So, how many strangers did you airdrop? Besides me. Everyone that showed up. Maybe five? Did you meet all of them? Nah, only you. I'm the only one? You're the only one to send them back. Why did you reply? I don't know. Bored. Wanted to meet people. Meet people? Yeah. I have a lot of friends, but I want more. Especially close ones. You don't have enough right? You don't- That was too fast. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You don't have enough right now? Ah, that's too, that was still too fast. Well, I used to have close friends, but we grew apart. So I feel you. It's always sad when someone you share- Ah! It's always sad when someone you share close personal moments with grows distant. Yeah. It's left a void in my heart, you know? And I try to feel it by meeting new people, talking, dating, sleeping around. But no matter how many people I meet, I'm still lonely. Is that what you're doing right now? Trying to fill the void with me? Maybe. Yeah. Close friends who can trust. Tr close friends who you can trust anytime, anywhere are the best. There's going to be times where you have none. During those times, I try to improve myself and learn, and learn to love the version of me that is now alone. Huh? Learning to, learning to love yourself is hard. Yeah. So, you're into makeup? Hell yeah, I am. God, can you imagine being so powerful you can transform into different people? Because I can. God is a woman. Expensive makeup artist. Have you thought about being a makeup artist? You think I'm not talented? You're sweet. God, that'd be amazing. The competition is fierce though. I just stick with it as a hobby. That's fair. If you ever need someone to practice looks on, I volunteer as a tribute. You're a beautiful canvas. I'll definitely take you up on that. 
Makeup is so makeup is so expensive though. I know. An eyeshadow palette can cost 50 bucks. That's 50 cheeseburgers. And imagine being caught in the rain when you have a full face of makeup. Not good, bro. Imagine needing to cry but holding it in because your foundation costs the equivalent of 20 shamrock shakes. So true. <laughs> Late time pass. That's it. All right, bet. As the sky darkened, I grew addicted to Amy's smile. It's getting late. We should head back. Ah, you're cute. The bike is. Yes. Ah, you're the cutest. No, you. <laughs> I'll see you later. See you. I had to turn my phone off to save battery. On my way back, I checked my phone. Hey, sweetie, how was your day? May, I'm scared. You're a great friend. It's not your fault. Who's making that noise? Dang, chill out, May. She turned her phone off to save battery. When I came back home, I felt cold, nervous, but I didn't know why. Oh, my bad. <sighs> Please don't tell me something happened. I don't know if the music is a little too loud. It started turning up though. If it's too loud, let me know. Okay, door. Don't come in. Call the police. They don't know what to do. Love me. Don't come in the room. What? Oh no, bro. Don't come in the room. So fine. <sighs> call the police. Is yeah, the call the police is probably the best option, man. Like, you don't want to, like, get emotionally damaged by seeing that. Call the police as I, stared, as I stared at the door, not blinking. When they arrived, I felt looking down on the scene. Myself. Her. The police that have the police of it that eventually came with this embodied feeling. And I heard myself scream endlessly. 1033. My disembodied self watched me move and talk like an actor in the surreal circus I found myself in. I overheard strangers and friends to like talk. Did you hear what happened? No. What? Someone committed suicide. That's so sad. Who? Where? Second floor. You probably don't know her. May? No, but that sucks. Most pity the way she went, but didn't miss her. But I remember her smile, her laugh, the way she'd be so kind, the way she'd be kind in small ways. I couldn't forget her. When new people came into my life, I searched for her in them. I couldn't help it. I hoped she was still there. It was only during the funeral that the reality really sunk in. At the funeral, I heard I heard her singing, now sad and slow. Her singing when everyone, everyone else forgot. I heard her not being there anymore to remember. As I listened to her, my disembodied self crashed down to reality. The pain hit. This time without the anesthesia of shock. This was real. She was dead. We were putting her in the ground. The end. Missed. No one saw it coming. Could I have? Was there a message I missed? I 
got the bad ending. This time we're not gonna go with the new girl. Wait, what, what is this? A heavy blizzard stretched on for miles. In the distance, I saw a figure. May? It's not safe here. May, is that you? I'm back. She just smiled, looking content amidst the dangerous hill. I said she was going somewhere better. I said she hadn't heard my voice, lost in the blizzard. Don't go, please. Don't go alone. She disappeared into the snow. I'd miss my chance. It's one. <clears throat> oh, wait. Was the, was the game still going on? I thought that was the end of the game. I wake up in a cold sweat. Fearful, but not sure why. What was that about? Never mind that. I should start working. Ah, I need to work. But I dream. I can't focus. Klein. What's this? Should I accept it? Hmm. Planes. After some time, I start to lose focus. Work. Decline. Or maybe I should accept but decline the date. I think I should do that. I think that's better. I make a valiant attempt at working. After some minutes, I get tired and want to take a break. That's weird. I hear voices. It seems like they're coming from my roommate's room. The door of my roommate. May. Getting closer. I hear voices. I thought my Chinese was bad. I could still detect an angry Chinese mother when I heard one. Ah, someone tries like. Too lazy. Why don't you? My mother's fast. Lecturing Chinese sometimes paused for May's soft murmur of affirmation. They continued. I felt like I was listening to something I shouldn't have, so I distanced myself from the door. T. He's perfect on a day like this. Beautiful, quiet, calm. That's. Hello, my green. Leafy best friends. Outer door. The door to the outside world. Bathroom. I guess we dove like straight into it. There, there's more to do, I guess. I do what I, did, I gotta do, then go back. I knew there was a weird noise going on. The noise from my roommate's room has quieted down. I borrowed multivariable calculus from my roommate, May, to distract onlookers from the more questionable titles. The door of my roommate, May. I wonder if I should check up on her. Knock. I hesitated, then knocked. For some reason, I fear what I might find. Hello? Yes. Um. Shit, what should I say? Wanna hang out in my room? And do what? I don't know. Talk? But I have work to do. You always have work to do. You should take a break. Besides, we haven't hung out for a long time. I miss you. Aw, uh, I could use a break to be honest. And I miss you too. Okay, hold on a sec. She went back into her room to get something. She came back, we laid on my bed, looking at the setting sun. She changed too, I think. Sky. Isn't it beautiful? So vast. I know, right? Sky always makes me think about how tiny we are. 
Yeah. We're tiny and mortal. Like, tomorrow we could just die like that. I feel that. I feel like I grew up being told that I could do anything. Be anything. Make the change I wanted to see. But now, I'm just here. And I haven't made my impact yet. You've made your impact on me. Your friendship means a lot to me more than you might know. Huh. <clears throat> oh, I fucked that up. Ah, uh, thanks. You're not so bad yourself. Oh, yeah. It's your brother, right? <laughs> I still can't. I still can't do the laugh. I forgot. You remembered. Of course I did. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday She's saying happy birthday for me. Aw. Thank you for remembering. As years flew by, my birthday became like another day. That's how I feel too. My birthday just became another day too. No one else had remembered it either. But she had. So, how have you been? Fine. Just tired. Big mood. How so? I don't know. Like a bone deep tiredness. Day after day. You think you're depressed? Um. Maybe. I took antidepressants a long time ago, but. I felt like they didn't work. That sucks. Maybe it's the type of antidepressants. Maybe you need to try a different. Why's he doing that, bro? Um, don't take my advice. Actually, I know nothing. Hello, me either. Not just about this, but in general. I feel you. Has it gotten better? The tiredness. Not really. By now, I kind of just want to die. Are you suicidal? Um. Oh my god. Sorry, was that too blunt? Feel free not to answer. No. You're, you're good. Yeah, I think about it sometimes. I feel like we all do, though. So I feel that way too. I imagine how it'll, it'll go down, how it'll look, smell, the aftermath. Was there anyone would care that I was gone, not just how, about how it went? You think about it seriously? Hmm, I'd rather not say. Sometimes I think about it. Then I'm stopped by the thought of pain I cost others. Have you considered getting professional help? Well, isn't that who, who prescribed the antidepressants, right? I don't know. Good doctors seem so rare. I've had a bad experience with a mental health resource at school, at least. Bad experience? What do you mean? Um, uh, one time I answered I was suicidal on a school survey, and I got brought in to see a school counselor. She forced me to answer her questions: Was I suicidal? How was I going to do it? What was going on? Even though I didn't want to. I was sobbing. I couldn't form sentences without hiccuping. I didn't want to. But they made me. It took a few hours, but it felt so long. It's awful. I see what you're afraid of seeking help. I'm not afraid. I'm just... Okay. I'm afraid. You don't need to be afraid. You don't need to be afraid. I'll come with you to find a good doctor. We'll drive to every place in, in this town until we find a good one. You do that for me? Yeah. 
Thank you. Oh, look at the mice. Dream. I had a weird dream. Ooh, what? It was about you, actually. It was kind of haunting. Oh my god, I need to hear this. You were in a snowstorm? And I called for you, but you didn't hear me. And I lost you. Hmm, what does that mean? I have no idea, but it's stuck with me. Ah, uh, I hope you're okay. I hope you're okay too, May. It's just a dream. Here, if you still care about bedtime, I'll tell you a bedtime story, okay? Oh yeah, bedtime stories. Ooh. What are your dreams like? Oh, disturbing. Someone always dies. Like my most recent one, it featured you actually. In a good way or a bad way? Good. Go on. <laughs> there was a massive epidemic. It was gonna wipe out the world. I got infected, I was gonna die. You discovered the cure and I was saved. That that reminds me of that one movie with uh, Will Smith. I didn't really watch it. I was working. But I watched some of it. It was a good movie, it was a good movie. I always knew it was gonna save the world. Yeah. Dream. You really saved me. He's a pro he could be a prophet. That's very much so. Could be. Oh yeah. What were those noises about? Oh did I click the wrong choice? Um earlier in your room. Ah, my mom called. Sorry. Did I bother you? No, she sounded really angry though. Yeah, um I'm assuming I'm gonna I'm gonna guess I'm gonna guess it's a great. I'm gonna guess it's a, it's a great. She and I is everything, is everything okay with between you two? I don't know. Every time my mom calls, I feel sick. Angry. You wanna talk about it? Talk about what? Why she makes you feel that way? Ha! <laughs> you sound like a therapist. How are you feeling? Why are you feeling that way? I just want to help you. Yeah, I know. I was always the golden child. When I was young, I was good at everything. So my parents never pushed me to work hard at anything. As I grew up, I started lagging behind because I didn't put any effort. The only thing I would put in, the only thing I would put effort into was writing. They yelled at me when they caught me writing. Writers weren't engineers or doctors. Writing would never make money. It's not about the money. Oh, my bad. Now, my life's slowly falling apart. And instead of listening to me and helping me, my parents are yelling at me for wasting time playing games. And let me talk to them. Wow. Thank you for telling me this. That's fucked. Thanks for listening. Writing. Let's talk about writing. I feel like I don't know why I don't know why the why the um why the cloud is like bluish. If someone knows, let me know. Why did you write about that? Before your parents made you stop. Oh my god, it's embarrassing. You can tell me. Okay, you won't laugh. I promise. Harry Potter fan fiction. <laughs> you said you wouldn't laugh. Sorry, I'm, I'm just surprised. Don't be ashamed. That's awesome. I love Harry Potter. I seen the first movie and the last movie, and then I saw a little bit of the second movie. 
But then I had to work, so I couldn't watch the rest of the second movie. But I'll watch them again, though. But I don't have them. Ugh, if you say so. I do say so. Why not, why not do more of that, then? Everyone likes writing, though. Anything creative. Art, music, writing. It doesn't count. It's not true. There's plenty of successful writers out there. But I'm not them. I'd never be able to make a living out of it. My parents will get so angry. Yes, yes. Poor but happy. Yes, 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 yes. That's exactly. That's exactly, man. Oh, I'm hyped. Would you rather live the way you currently live? Would you rather live the way you're currently living? Or live poor but happy? Facts, I'm telling you. Facts, boy. Besides, who says you're not good enough to make it profitable? I... Uh, I don't know. I like having their heads at the bottom. What are you thinking of? Um... I think I could be a good writer if I worked hard at it. But it's so much easier to give up and just not work. Could give up. I see struggle as a hill I need to climb to get the reward at the end other end. You could give up or you could get the reward at the other end. At the other side. Motivation to speak much? <laughs> nah. I just had a lot of hills that I've wanted to give up on. Have you ever given up? Nope. Well, sometimes. If it's something I couldn't care less about, like math. <laughs> I gotta work on my laughs, I gotta work on my laughs. <clears throat> but if I care about it, then I pull through. And I never regret it. I'm gonna work harder getting my life back together. It's tough though. Yeah, it's, it's hard to work on something you don't like. Give me a math problem and I'll snore. But give me a computer science problem and I'll look at it for hours. Thanks. I really mean it. I think my parents got into my head. I needed your push. Anytime. This is relaxing. But I'm also getting tired. Really? I'm wide awake. I think I'm just tired in general. How so? Do you ever feel like every day is the same day? Kind of. It's a satisfying sort of monotony. A day where I stay inside, windows open with tea, and a book is. Good shit. I, I don't know. I couldn't get that sentence. I'm sorry. Oh. Well, the end of it. Do you not feel the same? I don't know. I feel like I wake up. Do things I don't enjoy. Go to sleep. And do it all over again. Like, every day, I wake up, uh, every day, I wake up, force myself to do something I don't like, and go back to sleep. Sometimes I look outside my window and see a whole world out there. I feel the struggle of being stuck inside all day. Hmm. It's, cl uh, it's cliche, but... Why not do what you love? It's not that easy. If I knew what I love doing, I'd be doing it by now. But I don't know what I want to do. Have you always felt like this? Pretty much, yeah. Same. Well, not me. I know what I'm doing. I like doing this. I really enjoy doing this. By now, it's not a good feeling, but it's uncomfortable. I mean, but it's comfortable. 
You'll find it, Lawrence. Don't worry. Don't worry, Lawrence. You'll find it. It's a good game, bro. I like this game. I like this game, man. Buy me some more games like this, man. I look too. I like these games. I'm not sure if I want to change. And even if I did, I wouldn't know how. I hope you. We'll figure this out. I'll try every hobby and profession with you if that's what it takes. Thank you. Why are you so good to me? Because I'm worried about you and I care about you. I want you to feel better. Oh, it's my cap making the noise, man. We talked more about everything and nothing. From TV shows and memes to our worst fears and biggest desires. Before we knew it, evening dawned. I gotta go. I have to work. Yeah, good luck. I'm always going. I'm always down to hang out. Hang. Ah, I'm always down to hang again. Yay! Thank you for listening to me. It really means a lot. Although I also had to work. I didn't regret talking with me one bit. This game exposes all of us. She left her door open, bro. <gasps> what does that mean? Let's check her computer. Oh, this is a different meme, bro. What's this? Should I accept it? Let me check on May though. May's door is open. I wonder where she is. Oh, my bad. I hit my mouse. Oh, my bad. It was on. The, it was on the. It was on the other screen. Miss door opens. I wonder where she is. Let's go to the bathroom again. That's a long talk we had. Wait, what the hell? I opened the door to my roommate May. She didn't seem to hear or see me. Hey, are you okay? I'm fine. I'm sorry. Why are you apologizing? I... Are you really okay? You don't look okay. I... I need to go. Wait. Don't go. Can I hug you? She nodded silently. I hugged her. I wouldn't have. To me, I wouldn't have asked. Just start hugging. I wanted to say something, yet they didn't want to break the silence. After a pause, he spoke. Thank you. Um, I guess I'm not okay. I just say I'm okay because it's a good reaction. I don't really feel okay, but I don't want to bother anyone. Especially you. You're so kind. I made soothing motions on her back. Why are you sad? I don't know. I... I don't really want to talk right now. It's okay. I'm here for you. I'm not a professional or anything. But when you need to talk, I'll always listen. Thank you again. Is there anything I can do? Hug. Just hug. It's been months since that day. May and I have gotten closer. I didn't even consider him my best friend. In dark moments, we held each other's hands. Although I supported her, I didn't want to feel responsible for her. I didn't want her to be dependent on me. So we drove to every therapist in town until we found what she liked. One night, May hugged me by surprise. May? Thank you. Me? What for? I, um, don't know how to say this without seeming emotionally 
constipated. Thanks for caring about me. For listening to me. I couldn't tell you before because I was sad. But I really appreciate you. Really. Ah, uh, Anytime. Thank you too. For being my friend. You teach me to be kind. You teach me to be more kind. Oh my god. No, you. No, you. Uno reverse. Later that night, she gave me a note, both haunting and touching. It read, I was buried in the blizzard. The snow pelted powerful and unpredictable, never ending. I weakly cried for help, and no one came. My voice lost in the snow. But you saw my, message, my messages. We grabbed a shovel, helped, and I could finally open my door. In the end, hope. There's something to look forward to after all. Thank you for playing. Inspired by real life. Dang, that's a nice background. Let me get that background though. I wonder what I wonder if that's part of the backgrounds that came with the package that I was talking about. But dude, that was amazing. That was a great game. That was great. I really like that game. I'm glad I played it again after getting that first bad ending. Ooh, ooh. That bad ending. But do this game. Dude, it taught me a lot. And it is straight up through facts left and right, man. Straight up through facts left and right, man. I like this game. I love it. I rate it love out of five. I mean, love out of ten. My bad. <laughs> love out of ten. But uh, that's it for me, though. It is very late. We started, we started playing a lot of horror games and random games. After some near automata, uh, once again, <clears throat> uh, thank you so much, guys. Thank you guys so much for all the follows that I got today. Oh, you can still hear the music. Let's go. And Wasabi Cat, all you guys, thank you guys for the host. Thank you guys for coming by. I really appreciate. Hopefully, you guys can come by again. Who knows? Um, I'm, I'm, I'm very new to doing this. I, I don't really know how. You know, I'm, I'm new to this, you know, so it's, it felt really good though. When, uh, people were watching, uh, obviously I can't, you know, it's, it's hard to keep everybody in here. It's hard to retain everybody in here when, you know, uh, um, that's how I see, that's how I see rates. You know, it's, it's very hard for, for me starting out streaming to try to retain the viewers too, because I don't have much experience, uh, with experience, you know, that, that'll come by as, as I get more people watching this videos will be on YouTube. Most of them, uh, I'll see what I can upload. Uh, oh, here. Link in bio. The link's in the bio. Go check it out. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching again. And I'll see you guys next time. So, I think I could try to use the tape. Check out the side. Oh, man.